whatever comes. God's love will not let us go. It's a very important thing to hold on to that, and I think that's what we're going to be reflecting on in the passage from the Bible that we're looking at today, which continues our walk through St. Matthew's Gospel. And now we are once again very close to Jesus' arrest. And Matthew tells this story just before Jesus is arrested. Let's hear it. Again, said Jesus, the kingdom of heaven will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one he gave five bags of gold, to another two bags, and to another one bag, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. The man who had received five bags of gold went at once and put his money to work and gained five bags more. So also the one with two bags of gold gained two more. But the man who had received one bag went off, dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants returned and settled accounts with them. The man who had received five bags of gold brought the other five. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five bags of gold. See, I have gained five more. His master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. The man with two bags of gold also came. Master, he said, You entrusted me with two bags of gold. See, I have gained two more. His master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Then the man who had received one bag of gold came. Master, he said, I knew that you were a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown, and gathering where you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid, and went out and hid your gold in the ground. See, here is what belongs to you. His master replied, You wicked, lazy servant! So you knew that I was hard and harvested where I have not sown and gathered where I have not scattered seed? Well then, you should have put my money on deposit with the bankers, so that when I returned I would have received it back with interest. So take the bag of gold from him and give it to the one who has ten bags, for whoever has will be given more, and they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them, and throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. That's Jesus' story just before his arrest. And we've got to try to unpick it a bit. I think it says different things because it's clear that the master in the story is God. God gives 
with massive generosity. It says a bag of gold. It was about 20 years wages for an ordinary person. Also God knows what we're capable of and he varied his gifts according to his knowledge of the people who got them. And it tells us that God wants us to be active in using everything that we have received. And it also tells us that some of us have a wrong idea of God as hard and judgmental and keeping strict accounts. Let's hold on to those different ideas as we start perhaps with a song of joy to remind us of God's longing for happiness and to also remember the real nature of God's love revealed in Jesus. So here is, just for cheerfulness, Waltz of My Heart. <laughs> 